Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to install WordPress.org. This will be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial all the way from the very start to the end of you actually seeing the WordPress dashboard, okay? Now the website we will be using is a2hosting.com. I will have my affiliate link at the bottom. And I really like this website because it makes the whole process of installing WordPress much smoother. Before I would use HostGator and Namecheap and all these services, A2 Hosting makes it really simple. And all these three, three things that we discussed, the hosting, the domain name, and installing WordPress are made all in one right here, okay? So head over to a2hosting.com or click my affiliate link uh, in the description. And what you're gonna do is click on WordPress hosting right over here. Okay, so that's step one. We have to add the hosting and choose the domain. So we're gonna click on get started. So go to the site, WordPress hosting, get started. And you don't have to sign up here, okay? So you're just gonna select your domain. And after you make the purchase, then you will create an account, okay? So the first thing we have to do is select our domain. So what type of house do you want? What do you want people to see your website as? My website is right now amarketingessentials.com, okay? I'm gonna be making it ivanmana.com soon. What do you want your blog to be? And you have to decide that based on your niche, based on your topic, based on whatever it is you're doing. Are you promoting skiing lessons? Then maybe you can make skiinglessonsforyou.com, for example, right? So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's come up with a name. Let's say this YouTube tutorial.com and let's see if it's available. It might not be, but we do have some of these other options here. I do suggest going with .com. It usually propagates faster and is usually more well known. So if you can choose a .com domain. So let's click check and it's now checking availability. Um, okay, so this, this is available for $20 a year, okay? So still pretty good. We'll be paying $20 a year, about $15 a month or so for hosting, but we will have full control of our website, okay? So once we do that, let's click on continue. And now we have to select, we have to go into a bit more detail as to what we want to select, what options here. So right now it says $143. Don't worry about that. That's because it selected the 36 months in advance. Now you're free to do that. You know, feel free to take 36 months in advance. If you're completely new, you're just starting out, you know, you're not even sure that this is what you want to do. Uh, maybe go with one month, right? It's gonna be a bit more expensive, like over here it's $14 now, right? Um, might be a bit more expensive, but um, that way you can withdraw at any time without kind of having to pay, right? Uh, for three, month, uh, three, three years in advance, for example. So I'm gonna choose one month because I have a bunch of domains and I don't need another one, uh, but I'm just doing this for illustration. Um, we can keep all this as is. We're gonna get a free SSL certificate. That means our website's going to be secure. It's gonna have this little uh, lock icon there, which is good, especially if you have an order form page and people are afraid of giving out their personal information, not because necessarily the website can steal the data, but because hackers can steal the data. And so this little uh, lock box is good, okay? It adds a little security in the user's minds when they navigate your site. So that's awesome. We don't really need anything else here. The only thing we do need is over here, okay? So we can app install A2 optimized. Um, now, we will be using Thrive Themes. Again, Miles Beckler's suggestion, I tried it out, uh, an awesome uh, website builder, um, an awesome addition to WordPress, but you could select WordPress and A2 optimized, which will just make your uh, WordPress optimized for this A2 website builder, okay? Um, so just select everything as is. What you do have to do though is save this, okay? These are gonna be your WordPress credentials. Now, don't be afraid of you lose them. It is good to have them handy, but I will show you how to access your WordPress assuming you don't have this and then how to change your password if you do lose it, okay? So let's copy this and let's just paste it in our notepad. Let's say, let's say um, WordPress credentials and let's paste it here. And we're good to go. Now you have live chat available, so that's awesome. Next, we're gonna click on continue. Um, now I do strongly suggest that you buy ID protection, okay? So the reason for this is uh, if you don't, yes, you'll be saving $13 a year, but you will also get a bunch of phone calls, a bunch of emails saying, hey, I know you bought this domain, this youtube tutorial.com, 
Uh, do you need uh, do you need someone to create a website for you? Do you need someone? And and you get those like three or four or five a day, and it's insane. Okay, I hate it. I don't want giving away my personal information, so I would strongly suggest you do this ID protection. Um, you know a little bit of how I know about this with HostGator. They don't have this option de uh, pre-selected. I'm pretty sure because every time I bought a domain back there with HostGator. Um, I would get these mass emails and mass phone calls like they have your number okay so protect yourself right let's click on continue um, and now this is just going to confirm so we're paying $20 for the domain right and then we're paying $13 for the ID protection which ends up at 30 at, that one is $13 but if you add them together it's 33 and then you have uh, the 14 or 15 Canadian dollars for the hosting okay so we have all that make sure everything looks good let's click on checkout and now we're gonna have to enter our information so enter all of this information in okay once you do that uh, scroll down click on complete order and you might have to wait a few minutes I think it was like five minutes for me last time okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna enter all these details in you should do the same and I will see you in about five minutes after all of this is done. Again, after you click uh, complete order, give it a few, okay? Give it like a solid five minutes and I will see you soon. All right, so it has been about five minutes and as you can see now all of this loaded. So let's continue to the client area and we should now see our hub of all of our products that we have. So we have a service, which is the hosting and we have a domain, this YouTube tutorial dot Com, okay so it took a while because a2 hosting was setting up the site okay um, setting up WordPress and all that stuff which is why I really like it it's very convenient you really don't have to do anything it really makes the process of WordPress installation so quick and easy um, now before we go further the other thing is I wanted to mention if you already had a domain from somewhere else let me know in the comments where you got where you have the domain from and I can make a video showing you how to point the name servers to A2 Hosting so that you don't have to buy a domain here in A2 Hosting. You can buy a domain wherever you originally bought it and just transfer it here, okay? That being said, uh, we bought the hosting, we bought the domain. Now we have to install and set up our WordPress, okay? So WordPress should be installed, but let's check and see if it's available because the website might not have propagated yet, which means it might not be available worldwide yet, okay? So if it is available worldwide, then we can go ahead and log in and that is it. We're really pretty much done. If not, we still have to wait five to 15 minutes, okay? So let's check it out. Let's go to services and see what we have here. So here is our site. Now we could just click on this website, okay? And as you can see, it's not ready yet, okay? So let's close out of that. We have to wait a bit. We could click on manage here. Another way to test. Now here are all our name servers. So like I mentioned, if you have another domain registrar and you bought the domain there, uh, you would use these, okay? So all we have to do really is just click on this website URL and it should load our dashboard. If it doesn't, that means this domain hasn't propagated yet. So let's pause the video for another five to 15 minutes until it is, and I will show you how to access your WordPress dashboard and things of that nature. I will see you soon. All right, so it has been about five minutes and now the site is working. So if you click on this website here, you're taken to the blog. So sorry, not the dashboard, right? You're taken to the blog. So that means it's propagated. It's good to go. Now, one thing you notice is that it says not secure. Okay, so there is one thing we have to do in order to make it secure. So we're going to close out of that. Let's log into cPanel here on the left hand side. At the top here, we're going to type in S SSL, click on SSL slash TLS status. Okay, so as you can see here, um, the domains are unsecured. Okay, so these are all the domains that you have. So this YouTube tutorial and www this YouTube tutorial, all of them, uh, or at least these two should work. Okay, the other ones are used for like mail and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is click run auto SSL. Again, we're gonna give it a few minutes. Um, I should, I'll probably pause the video, but what we want to see is we want to see a little check mark or a little green mark saying that these domains are now secure. Okay. So I will see you in a bit after this loads. Okay. So it took a few minutes, maybe two or three, not five minutes, 
But as you can see now, all of these domains are secure. They're up and running. So if we go back here and we click on this URL again, it still didn't refresh the uh, HTTPS version. But if we type in HTTPS and we load it, we should see a little secure icon there. Okay, so we know everything is working. Now let's actually log into the WordPress dashboard. Okay, this is where you will be able to control and build your pages and where we will be adding plugins and all that good stuff in the upcoming videos. So let's click on this home button right here at the top. And let's scroll down to where it says WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Okay, so right now we're trying to log into our dashboard. So we're gonna click here. Now, if you go, if, if you look over here, you will not see any installation. And that's because remember, we didn't install WordPress, we installed uh, WordPress A2, right? Uh, so let's click here, Softaculous, and we're gonna select this option here. And this is the exact same thing, just that this WordPress will have several um, plugins and additional add-ons and stuff like that optimized for, you know, here. So page caching, all this, okay? So it's just gonna have additional um, features to help you get started. So we're gonna scroll down here and click on this admin option, okay? So remember these details we added here. So if you log off of A2 hosting, and you want to access your website again, what you're going to do is type in your website slash WP admin, right? So our website is this with the HTTPS. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm gonna open a new window and let me just quickly show you what that's going to look like. I'll type in slash WP dash admin. Now, it, this will probably still take us to the page because we are logged into A2 hosting and everything is integrated. The reason why we added these details here is in case uh, we do log out of everything and we want to access our site standalone and not log into A2 hosting, this is how we would do it, okay? But we can either click on this option here, admin, okay, and we'll be taken to the dashboard, or give it a second, we can go here and type in WP admin, click enter. So normally it would ask for the username and password, in this case it didn't, because uh, like I said, we're integrated, okay? So that is it, here we are in our dashboard. So we just have to click on my board dashboard to access it, okay? And that is pretty much it. So you have successfully installed wordpress.org. You can go in here now and make all your changes, make all your adjustments. As you can see here, it is A2 optimized. So it does have these additional kind of settings, like I believe A2 optimized is here. Uh, performance is new here, right? So like cache stuff. Um, just extra stuff to help you get started. That's the difference between A2 optimized and just regular WordPress, but they do both do the same thing. So if you go to posts, you will be able to add your posts here. Give it a second. Okay, so like here's the post, hello world. So if we go to our site, again, this should be secure, okay? So there it is, now it is secure. You know, this is gonna be your first page, okay? Uh, let's go back here. Now you can also go to pages. So sorry, uh, so posts, this is more for blogging. Like if you're creating blogging posts, like one after an, on the other, like I have on my website where I have a blog of like everything I put on YouTube. And then you have pages. These are like your standalone pages. So if you go to your website here and you click on sample page, you will be taken to this page, sample page. Do you wanna create another page? Do you wanna create an about us page and whatever other page, you know, why us features? Add a new page right here, add new and you're gonna build out the pages, okay? So that is pretty much it. That is all you have to know about WordPress. Uh, let's go over a few, uh, if just a few other things here and that should be pretty much good to go. So if you go to settings and you go to general, I encourage you to look through all these kind of options here and just look through it, nothing special. There's nothing I'm gonna go in and tell you, you have to do this. Um, this is just your preference, your taste. So go through these, right? Like date, do you want the date to be like this or like this? Like there's no right answer, right? So just go through this. Um, this is gonna be your website URL in case you forget, okay? And everything is gonna be based off this domain name. So if you end up adding another page, like an about us page, all you're gonna do is when you create the page, you'll say slash, you know, about us, okay? That's all it is. You're gonna add that to the page when you actually build it, okay? Um, now this will also work with www, okay? So you can add that in as well in case you were curious. Uh, if you, now, the few things I did want to bring to your attention though is if you go to reading, 
The first thing is here, it says discourage search engines from indexing this site. So if your site is brand new and you are really shy, and you don't want your site to be indexed at all by Google. Index means seen by Google. When someone types something in search, you don't want your site to show up at all because you might think it's not ready. Uh, just click this option and click save, okay? Now in my case, I don't want to do that. I want to show my site to the world as soon as possible. Yes, it's not ready, but it's okay for me. I want people to see every single new post that I put up. So I'm gonna leave that off, okay? The other thing is permalinks. Uh, this is something that might be of interest to you, but the default here is set to this, which probably most of you won't want, where uh, when you publish a new post, it automatically generates a URL for you, and that URL is gonna have this format. So it's gonna have the date, and then the name of your post. So for example, one of my latest videos was how to integrate ClickMagic with uh, ref content, how to promote ref content um, uh, ads using ClickMagic campaigns, right? So it would actually show this whole date and then say, you know, click magic campaigns ref content. I probably don't want that. I don't need the date. So what I would do is select this option here, okay? Post name. And it's just going to say the name of the post. It's not gonna have the date. And I'll click on save. Um, now for those of you that were wondering, well, what do I do if I lose my login uh, and I do want to log in alone, stand alone? You're gonna go to users, all users. And then you will see your user here, click on edit. Scroll to the bottom, that, that should be you, and click Generate Password, okay? And this is where you reset your kind of WordPress WordPress password, okay? But that's pretty much it. So like I said, go into posts, go into pages, start dishing out content, okay? If you wanna go into more specifics, I will work on publishing new videos, going into all these details. In the next video, I want to show you how to integrate Thrive Themes with WordPress, which is an extremely powerful plugin that's going to allow you to uh, really customize your pages in a much easier, smoother way. So if you like Unbounce or you like ClickFunnels or basically they're easy website building software, but they're not WordPress, so they are missing some functions. Um, this is basically like a ClickFunnels or Unbounce inside of WordPress, okay? So I'll show you how to install that in the next video, but by now you should have installed WordPress from start to finish. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, again, if you're if you bought a domain from somewhere else, let me know. I'll make a video showing you how to point the name servers from that registrar to A2 Hosting. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you will probably like my Unbounce playlist where I teach you how to create standalone landing pages with Unbounce, and my Google Ads playlist where I teach you how to uh, run ads on Google. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.